The rebel hosted a huge rally at the Alberta legislature over the weekend and we had about 3,000 out to join us in sending Rachel Notley a message to stop the carbon tax. People of all walks of life were in attendance, families with kids, laid off oil workers, parents and grandparents worried for their children and grandchildren's future, and people that are just tired of not being heard by our provincial NDP government. We handed out signs for a small donation if people were willing, and the crowd was lively and outspoken against this tax that's going to affect Albertans and our businesses when it hits in 2017. And I had a chance to talk to some of the crowd to ask them why they thought it was important to be in attendance. I'm here in support of Albertans. Um, uh, talking about and supporting our Albertans on uh, the carbon tax. The no to carbon tax is not um, what Albertans had in store for us after the NDP um, shoved this down our throats. It was not in her mandate prior to election. So now we want um, a say in this. I'm here uh, because I believe the NDP are not working in the best interest of Alberta and Albertans. I'm here because uh the carbon tax makes no sense for Alberta, uh, or even Canada for the matter. Uh, when our largest uh, competitor is the United States and they're not going to have a carbon tax, uh, it makes our goods out of uh, market for the global economy. So, uh, you know, it's just going to hurt everything on Alberta. The price of everything is going to go up, and uh, it's just going to make poor people poor. To stop Rachel Notley, you know what, if we're doing something like this, put it to a vote. Frankly, it's the right thing to do, Rachel. Most people are just very concerned about the taxes and policies that the NDP are bringing in that worked directly against Albertans. Even if we weren't in the midst of an economic downturn, carbon taxes, increases in property taxes, unnecessary coal phase-outs, and constant increases in spending on our broken healthcare system affect citizens. But now, at a time like this, they just add to the hardships that people in the province are already facing. And there's really no evidence that these policies are even going to work. So I asked rally attendees whether they thought that a carbon tax would really do anything to help get oil and gas infrastructure like pipelines in place. Absolutely not. I think that's probably the biggest joke ever. It's like, uh, I don't know, people need to wake up and see... Uh, you know, when we're importing oil from Saudi Arabia, which has no human rights, you know, they're against gays, they have, women have no rights, and we're importing oil from them. That makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely not. It, it makes no difference to, uh, to our part of the world. It's, we, our emissions are, are next to nothing, and uh, we, can't, we cannot afford it. Uh, no. And... Uh, an interesting thing just came out of BC about a month ago that has uh, shown that their uh, carbon tax that they've had in place since 2008 hasn't done a bit to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. All it's done is cost everybody needlessly. So really the NDP have put what I call a provincial sales tax on us because it's going to cross all walks of life and all industries and we'll be paying for a long time. Absolutely not. Absolutely the, the opposite of what she's trying to accomplish. What I gathered from the rally is that people in Alberta are just frustrated. They're tired of being pushed around by the governments, both federal and provincial, after being the backbone of the Canadian economy for so long. They feel they've given so much and are only being kicked while they're down. And one thing is clear, not one person I talked to had any faith in the NDP looking out for Alberta's best interests in the months and years ahead. And the countdown is on until the next election. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks a bunch for watching. Did you hear about our big plan? The Rebel is growing and we need your help to become the biggest source of news and commentary in Canada. So please, if you can, visit thebigplan.ca to donate and check out all of the details.